Hello friends, welcome back to Sabir CAD. This video is actually a case study of one of my recent projects and I'll explain how I have executed this particular project by combining various softwares so that you will get a proper guidance and understanding to execute similar projects. But before we move on, please do subscribe to my channel Sabir CAD if you haven't subscribed already and hit the bell icon to get instant alerts on my future video uploads. So all these things and more is coming up, so stay tuned. In this project, the client has provided the ground floor and the first floor plan of a residence and I am asked to create a full-fledged uh, 3D view of this house using this particular image as a reference. In fact, the client has downloaded the image of this house from a website and I was asked to incorporate all the features from this 3D image onto the plan which is given by the client. First of all, I have to start with the 3D modeling part of this house using AutoCAD software. So let's see what all features are to be incorporated from the image onto the 3D model. Let's start with the ground floor. In the ground floor you can see a porch which is over here and the porch is given a gabled roof and that has to be incorporated on this area. Then there is a sit out which you see here and there are pillars and these pillars are cladded in grey shade. Now there is a planter bed over here which is not shown in this image but we will be showing it in the 3D view. Then in the first floor there are wall grooves over here then there is a sunshade and flat roof in this area which corresponds to this portion and when you consider this area there is a gable roof again and uh, there is a window over here in the ground floor as well as in the first floor and these two windows are connected using fin wall and there is a shade over here as well as on top and there is an attic space over here and there is a window which is provided on top to promote lighting and ventilation and this is again a gabled roof over here in this area as I've told you before and roofing of this particular area is again a gable but it's in a higher level and it merges with this particular gable and there is pergolas provided on top in the roof to promote lighting and we have a balcony in this area and which is shown here and that balcony has got a particular design. Now I'll take you to the 3D model which I've created onto which I have incorporated all these features. This is the full-fledged 3D model of the house with the required features incorporated. And this view as you know is the perspective view. In AutoCAD, there is a technique by which you can create perfect perspective views. Now, this is a two-point perspective. If you want to know the procedure to create perfect perspectives in AutoCAD, please click on the link provided at the upper right corner as well as at the description section of this video. Then I have imported the AutoCAD 3D model to 3ds Max and I have assigned a lights, cameras and finishes onto this 3D model. So this is how the model will appear once you apply all these detailing. Now I'll perform rendering in 3ds Max. So I'll click on render setup and you can see the given resolution here which is 4K which is pretty high resolution. Then I'll click on render. Now you can see the uh, render speed in real time. It took hardly 5 seconds to render this 3D model in such a higher resolution. It will take you much longer to render the same 3D model using AutoCAD software. That's the reason why I use 3ds Max for rendering. Now I'll save the file here. And this rendered image is opened in Adobe Photoshop software wherein I have provided the background sky, then the background trees, then the foreground grass, plants, flying birds and all these extra details to make it more presentable and photorealistic. So this is the workflow I stick to 
to execute such projects. The 3D modeling is done in AutoCAD, then the rendering in 3ds Max, and for photo editing, I use Adobe Photoshop software. And this is a completed rendered view in which you can see the front and left side of this house. This is the second view in which you can see the front and right side of this residence. Hope you got motivated with this procedure. And if you are interested to learn this and if you want to execute such projects using this same technique, you have to first learn AutoCAD 3D modeling. That is 3D modeling architectural objects. You can start with my introduction to AutoCAD 3D part 1, 2 and 3 tutorials. After that you can move on to my video series on modeling a single story residence as well as double story residence. You can learn all this using my channel. I have provided links at the upper right corner as well as at the description section. Once you master the technique of architectural modeling using AutoCAD, then that model has to be taken to 3ds Max. To learn the 3ds Max and Photoshop part, you can very well make use of my online training. I have provided links at the upper right corner of this video as well as at the description section. So that's all for now. Thank you so much for your patience and time. Please hit the like button of this video if you liked it and share and recommend this video to your friends. Until I catch you in the next video with another interesting topic, bye bye and take care, may God bless you all.